Here we go, it's the final of the British Grand Prix in Cardiff. It's Chris Holder going off the inside as one here before. Ty Wuffenden knows he will lead the World Championship going to Latvia in a couple of weeks' time, but he wants to win the British GP. Niels Christian Everson, who worked so, so hard to get to the final, off gate three in white. And Peter Killerman, only the fifth Grand Prix of his career, and the third final in five Grand Prix. Peter Killerman is the man with the Midas touch. Here we go, it's the grand final. Is it all about the inside two gates, or will they be somebody to spoil the party from the two Danes off the outside? Well, yes, it's sudden death time, so anything's possible. It will be quite uh, a tough first corner, we know that. Kilderman worked it uh, beautifully to get in the second place for his semi-final. Everson was very quick in his. Holders in the box seat, no question about that, but pressure comes with that. Because Wuffenden is so very fast. What a lineup! Here we go with the grand final in Cardiff. Green lights on, and they're away. Who's going to get into that first turn? Wuffenden is going to try the inside switch. Holder's there. Lovely move from Holder, and Wuffenden's going to go to the back. Oh, yeah, Peterson! What a Niels move. Christian Everson has got the lead. Can you believe it? Here comes Wuffington now trying to get through to third. What a move by Niels Christian Everson of Denmark. Brilliant stuff from Everson, swept round the outside and has cleared off out in front. Wuffington's out the back. That really is quite a shot. Can't land a blow. Holder in second place with Kilderman in third, but Niels Christian Everson, a remarkable ride in his semi final. And here out in front, he's going to pick up the spoils. Well, this is really a fantastic performance from Everson. It's not been consistent throughout the night, but he's done enough. And Niels Christian Everson is on the verge of a fourth Grand Prix win of his career. Here he comes! Niels Christian Everson! What a, what a performance! What a performance indeed. A shock winner, I would suggest. The favourites were on gates one and two. No guessing about that. Wuffenden didn't get away to his liking and got buried out the back. Couldn't land a blow, but down the back straight on the opening lap. Nils Christian Everson, who's come back from a really nasty injury last year. What a ride from him. He had fantastic speed in his semi-final to get the better of Nicky Pedersen to get himself into the final. But out of gate three, the Danish man comes up with a stunning ride. And many congratulations to Everson. Full credit to Niels Christian Everson. That is a sensational result. Yeah. I don't think anybody saw that coming, but he timed his move to absolute perfection. It was brilliant the way he did that. Nigel, the speed he had in the second semi-final, he must have been feeling confident. And a door opened up as he went down the back straight. He was able to fire himself to the front. What a night of Speedway. Speedway's been a winner tonight. No doubt about that. Cardiff really has put on a show for everybody. Super Speedway. It's a disappointment for British fans, of course, and for Wuffenden that he hasn't won on the night, but the World Championship lead is solid, looking good. But no question about it, Neil Christian Everson will be overjoyed with that result. But Niels Christian Everson, it's a poignant moment. Early on in his professional career, he rode down the road, road, road from here for the Newport Wasps in the Premier League. Indeed he did. So he's ridden many times in Wales, rode for the Newport Wasps, and a former Newport rider wins in Cardiff. How about that? Yeah, that's a great moment and a great link. And as I say, Everson has been frustrated at times this year. But uh, I'll tell you what, he's not frustrated now, is he? That is one. One big result for the Danish boy. Yeah, and uh, let's just confirm the finishing order tonight. Everson wins the Grand Prix, finishes on 14 points, but he's the winner of the final and wins the GP. Holder top scores on 18, Wuffenden on 15, and that's significant for Wuffenden, even though he couldn't score there in the final. Bottom line is, he is now, uh, what, on 55 points, and he's 12 clear of Nicky Pedersen. He's got a 12-point cushion in the World Championship, and he'll settle for that. Here we see it again, they're away into the first corner. Initially, it's all about Holder, but look, Everson lets that bike run right out towards the fence and has a lot of speed, and he's able to get the better of the opposition, and he gets the better of Holder as they go into turn three on the opening lap. Wuffenden there trapped on the inside and gets relegated to the back, and he can't land a blow, but the man out in front, he must have been in seventh heaven there. It just worked out beautifully for him. And as he comes out of the last corner, he probably can't quite believe 
that he's about to win the biggest speedway meeting in the world. What a ride from him. Disappointment for Wiffenden, but on reflection, I'm sure he'll be pleased with his championship lead. Let's head down to Steve Brandon. Niels Christian Everson, wow, what a great result. Yeah, that was, uh, that was fantastic. Um, I must admit, I didn't expect to, to make such a half decent gate like I did, but uh, I knew I had to go to the outside because the bike was working good. I knew I was fast enough, so uh, I just went for it. And semi-final sort of summed up your night. You had to work hard for every point, but you dug in and you got the results you needed. Yeah, we tried, uh, you know, we changed things every race and track changed a bit as well and it was really hard work and yeah. We